The Baha'i Faith is a world religion. Its primary purpose is the unification of the whole of the human race uh, in with one common aim, one universal direction. Baha'is follow are the followers of Baha'u'llah. He was a, a man who we believe is the next manifestation or the latest manifestation or teacher uh, from God. And as I'm sure most of you know, in all religions and many traditions of the past, there has been uh, a promise of the coming of uh, a great man who will unite the world and bring peace and prosperity to all of mankind. Baha'is believe that Baha'u'llah is this promised one of all ages. At the core of our belief is that we all worship the same God. There is only one God. There can only be one God. If there are two of them, it's not God. So we all worship the same God. Whatsoever is raised on this foundation, the changes and chances of the world can never impair its strength. Nor will the revolution of countless centuries undermine its structure. These are thy servants who have gathered in this meeting, have turned unto thy kingdom, and are in need of thy bestowal and blessing. O thou God, manifest and make evident the signs of thy oneness, which have been deposited in all the realities of life. so, Mike, uh, what is Buddhism and are there different forms? Many different forms of Buddhism. It's a very, very um, ancient religion and practice which has its expression in many different ways. Uh, what attracted me to it in the first place was the, the, the common thread that it's it's non-theistic. In other words, it, it doesn't rely upon the existence or non-existence of a god, a greater uh, being. There's a symbol in Buddhism which is commonly used, which is the eight-spoke wheel, which really relates to the eightfold path, the central teaching of Buddhism, which we don't deny. But in our particular form of Buddhism, which is following the teachings of Nichiren and Daishonin, we just choose to emphasize a slightly different concept, which is the one of the ten worlds. And the ten worlds really reflect the states of life that we all have within us at any one moment in time. For example, there is the state of hunger and desire. The relationship with God, for most Christians, is marked by baptism, which isn't so much the consummation, but the engagement party. Let me ask you this question. Believing in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, do you repent of your sin and trust in Jesus Christ alone as your personal Saviour? I do, Jesus is Lord. And upon your public profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Saviour and Lord, your repentance towards God, 
and at your own request, I baptise you, Helen, my sister in Christ, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Buried with Christ in the waters of baptism, in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection, so to walk in newness of life. Let us pray. Whenever uh, people visit to the temple, first thing is they leave their shoes outside the prayer room, wash their hands and clean their mouth, and they come inside their prayer room, and there are many uh, bells there, and they ring bells there. After ringing the bell, uh, they do their prayer, bowing down before the images of the God and doing some chanting in their heart or out loud, depending on every individual. And after doing their prayer, they go to the priest. Priest gives them, say, few drops of the holy water. And this is called the Charna Amrit. Amrit means the nectar. Om Akal Mati Harnam Sarvyadi Vinashnam Vishnu Padote Vitya Padote Vitya Punajanam Navavetaha Om After giving the holy water, they drink it with their right hand and then a priest gives them blessed fruit. These blessed fruits are called prashad. A practicing Hindu, any person who has got faith in four things, one gauj, law of karma, reincarnation means life after death, and in the scriptures called Vedas. So that person can be called Hindus. Basically, the word Hindu is not in any of these scriptures. We say these are the Hindu scriptures, so they don't have this word Hindu in there. And this word Hindu has been given to us by historians. Originally, persons who are called Hindus now, they were known as Sanatan Dharmi. Sanatan means the eternal and dharma means the way of life. So persons following the eternal way of life, they were used to call as Sanatan Dharmi and now later on they are called Hindus. And Ramadan is also sharing, as you have observed in the month of Ramadan, how in the time of opening our fast, we share the food. In the, in the daytime, we refrain from all sorts of things, not only eating, drinking, and these sorts of things. Yes, we break the fast in the end of Ramadan um, with, the, with the feast, which is called Eid al-Fitr. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illa Allahu, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allahu, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar